good. Come on, man. You guys got to be fired up. She was, we're out here as ball, man. You can't. Come on, man. Let's have some fun with this, right? No NIL money for being out. Me either. <laughs> so what do you think about the defense today? We got a lot of things that need to correct. You know, we play with a lot of the young guys, which was good. You know, some of these guys need to get in in life situation, which was good for them today. Uh, but there's a lot of things. There were some good things and some bad things, and, you know, we'll try to fix those uh, for next week. Do you find value in them messing up sometimes? Oh, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. That's the only way you're going to learn, you know, throughout the years and experience playing young guys. That's the only way. They, you know, you want to, you know, watch film and correct it in, in the film room and all that and the meeting rooms and all that. But, man, sometimes just playing experience will fix itself. You know what I mean? Oh, he's got a bright future, man. You know, he's going to be a guy that we're going to hear about for the next three years. You know, he's still, but there's so much, you know, learning uh, fundamentals and things like that. And just understand the overall game, uh, you know, but he's a kid maybe in the middle of the year. We're going to count on the rush of passer for us. Is he about 210 right now? Yeah, he's about that. Yep. Like him to be like, oh, obviously so much. Yeah, I mean, you know, realistic, we talked about maybe 225, you know what I mean? He's been here, I think he's put on like 12 pounds, so, you know, uh, our nutrition, you know, our people are doing a great job with that. How do you think it went with uh, rotating the guys in the way you want, especially on the front line? Uh, you know, I wish I would have, you know, had more guys available today, you know, but um, that's kind of how it's going to be in the game. You know, when we get everybody back, I would like that rotation to be consistent. What's T.S. Savea's status? Uh, I don't know. To be honest with you, that's coach. Uh, I, I stay out of that. The freshman cornerbacks, obviously you had one injury there at corner, so those guys have had to kind of move up. What have you seen out of those two? Oh, man, like I said, Mario man, it, 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 you know, those – those guys, man, I'm, I'm glad to have them in our program. They got a bright future here, you know what I mean? And to get this kind of action in practice and in, in the scrimmage, you know, they might have to play for us. So, uh, you know, I like what I'm seeing. The team defensively has been successively getting turnovers in all camp. None today, though. Right. Like good thing, bad thing, kind of stuff that you couldn't get uh, you know, I wish we would have got some. You know, that was one of my main goals coming in today. You know, communicate really well, do your job, and try to create turnovers. You know, and we didn't get it done, so we got to go back to work, you know, tomorrow tomorrow, tomorrow night and, and focus on that, you know what I mean? Because we're going to need it. Was CY, was that just like a scary knee, knock knees thing? Yeah, that was hit T-Max, just his knee ran into us, so, but he's fine. How do you see the linebacker position playing out right now? What do you, what do you see out of that? They're just going through the process right now, man. It's just we got a four-man rotation. Uh, you know, uh, I'll be able to answer that question after next week, you know. But for now, you know, we're rotating guys in and out. What about a guy like Colby Cage who has been able to make plays and, you know, kind of go through the second and first team? What have you seen out of him during this time? Uh, I like what I'm seeing. You know, the one thing about Kobe, he can run. You know, in his defense now, every, you know, uh, we need people that can cover his space, and he gives us that. Speaking of covering his space, we saw a couple times where they ran cowling on the post, and Jerry was like, it's his responsibility right. to kind of be the one who's underneath, and he did a good job today. What does it say about maybe his health or the fitness that he has that he's able to run that far and yeah. stay with him? He's been doing a great job all, all camp, you know what I mean? And I like to see what I saw, you know what I mean? That's one of the top. Probably going to be one of the top receivers in the, in the conference. For Jerry to do what he did there, you know, it was pretty impressive. If you're out on the road recruiting, what's your message to recruits and what you guys are trying to build here? Uh, Tucson, you know, the community here, you know, the university, you, you know, you look, you know, they got a great history here, you know, and, 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 and that's the message, like, come here, you know, we can win here, just like anywhere else, you know, but I love, you know, I sell the, the community. You got a million people here that care about football. It's a small town, but it's still got a big city to it. And, you know, there's a lot of people that care about the program and care about our players. I said, man, I mean, you can't have that. You can't ask for that. This is just the pro team. So, you know, that's a big selling point. When will you start working on San Diego State stuff with the players? Probably two weeks from now. Yep, two weeks from now. Is that the same time you'll probably start to narrow down like personnel looks and all that? We, I mean, everything is broken down. You know, but we want to go back to fundamentals, you know, and continue to tackle. We had too many missed tackles today. So we need to focus on those things first, you know, and then we'll move on to San Diego State.